Day one in the trial of the man accused of hitting and killing firefighter Johnny Tetrick last year. Uh, today we heard testimony from the firefighters who were there on scene when the crash happened. Now, prosecutors uh, told the judge and took him, the family members and first responders in the courtroom back to November 19th, 2022. And that night, Tetrick and his crew were responding to a rollover crash in I-90. Fellow firefighters testified they believed the scene was safe and secure because of the amount of police present. Tetrick had just crossed the highway to check on the crash victim when he returned to the road. That's when prosecutors say Leander Bissell drove around three police cars, then picked up speed through the scene. Other firefighters on scene saw the lights coming and had no time to say anything. In fact, they thought it was another police car because it was driving in lane number two, which was not open at the time. Today, Your Honor, we ask you to see beyond the surface of this tragic accident and beyond the pressure of the reeling firefighter community and delve into the heart of this very difficult case. And that was the defense attorney. He argued it was the unsafe and chaotic conditions of the initial crash and Bissell's negligent driving that led to Tetrick being hit. Bissell is facing charges including leaving the scene, failure to comply, involuntary manslaughter, and aggravated vehicular homicide. Coming up in the next hour, we'll hear from those firefighters who were on the scene worked with Tetrick and saw the crash that led to his death.